exciting game coming up. The Chiefs and the Hurricanes. This should be a good one. Looking forward to this. New injuries to report. The Chiefs, Josh Lord, who I was very excited to pick up in my fantasy team, went off after about 10 minutes with a concussion. So I expect we will not see him playing this week. Uh, Sam Penny Finau last week, surely had to be last week's um, man of the match. I'm not sure if he was or not, but we're calling it. He, um, he came off at the very end, as I think Harry said, or Nell said, after being injured what seemed like three times down for the count throughout the match. But he finally came off with like a massive head cut, bleeding everywhere. Um, and so you'd have to think that part of that was a concussion to receive that type of blow. So I'm not sure if we'll see him rested, particularly with the likes of some players coming back. Um, Hurricanes, no new injuries to report, but returning. Um, returning for the Chiefs, so all black rest weeks for Takiaho, Brad Webber, and Sam Kane. So we'll see them back into the fray. Um, big change. Sorry? That's a big change, isn't it? That is. That is that's that's the name basically the spine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, with some, we've been out, you know, I'm sure we might see Peter Gus back as well i'm not uh, i think he just wasn't it wasn't even on the team sheet last week yeah but, uh the hurricanes no one really to return i guess they kind of rested some players with last week's game against moana so um i guess we can think about who might come back we might see julian sevilla josh morby things like that back in the starting team but um i think dang dang coles and asafra moore are the two that everyone's got their eyes on right i think dang coles yeah. have been Kind of expecting back for a few weeks now, but it just hasn't been out. Like she get it over to the line. Um, mm. He was around ten concussion. I'm mm. uh, sorry, round nine concussion. Missed round ten. They said he still had symptoms before last week. So I don't know where that puts him, but obviously he's not a lock in by any means. Um, a sufferer more as well. Um, obviously missed round twelve with an elbow injury. We've got no idea how bad that is. So fingers crossed, one of those two are fit. And then the other one that I'm keeping my eye on is Dom Bird, who's missed a couple of weeks with illness. They haven't got a lot of locks around at the moment either, so surely he's in and amongst the 23s if he's fit. Yep, sweet. All right, well, Nels, what do you uh, what do you see going down in this game? Look, uh, the last time these two played off, I think it was 17-33 to the Chiefs. Don't at me if I'm wrong. Um, in Wellington... Um, and and I think really the Chiefs uh, are going to probably bounce back after what happened last week. Uh, the Hurricanes were running around on the school paddock having a bit of fun in a less serious match um, in, in their eyes. So this is going to be a really important one. They're going to have to have everyone firing for for this one. Um, Harry, is this mate? Have we got a, a live update? Live update, Brady Retallick was always in doubt for round 12 with a groin injury. So I assume that means he's sweet for this week as well. So okay. that's not actually we'll live. There's no new information. You just have yeah, remembered that now. So. Uh, well, it's new to the listeners, mate. And if they haven't heard it here, if they haven't heard it anywhere else, then I've heard it here first. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew it was coming. Tim Roygaard, he changes that team around for the, the Canes as soon as he comes back into this starting side as well. He has been... An absolute star for them. And, you know, a, a lot of what they've been able to offer throughout the year have been on, on the back of him and, and Adi Savea. Really, the the forward, you know, getting over the line, getting them moving forward, and, and Roy Gard being able to either capitalise himself and, and find some spaces or to be able to get the ball out quick to some of the other weapons they have out wider. Yep, very good. Um, I'm going to jump in and absolutely steal Harry's point. Um, will we finally see... Anton Leonard Brown and Alex Nankervell in the centres for the Chiefs. Um, and ALB came back last week, uh, sorry, two weeks ago, and he's, he's looks pretty good, pretty exciting, getting into a bit of everything. Um, and then Nankervell, when he came off the bench last week, God, he looked electric. He just got stuck in to everything. So surely they are the first, uh, the first two choices in the centre pairings there. Um, I don't think it matters who you put at 12 and 13. Um, I think they seem to to like uh, ALB prefers it out at 13, uh, although he kind of plays more 12 for the All Blacks. But um, uh, I don't think it matters which way. But I, I think this will be the week that we see that in a good test against the Hurricanes. Um, DMAC, the question is always 10 or 15. They like to kind of change that around just to uh, unsettle their opposition. But... Um, what do you guys see for this one? Do you see DMAC at 10 just because he's been absolutely killing it there and that unleashes their back three of Nana Satura, Narawa and Shooter Stevenson? Again, mate, flip a coin. Like, I'd love to say that I had some sort of insight on this, but it's just whatever they feel like at the time. 
I think this is an important game for them. They'll know that they need to win to actually try and lock in or give themselves the best chance of the minor premiership. So they were off last week. They just weren't mentally switched on enough to compete with the very, very motivated Reds. So I think this will be them at 100%. Brody Retallick running over the top of everybody. Damian McKenzie at 10 or 15. It won't matter. Everything will go through him, let's be honest. So I, I think it's just going to be, you know, back to the Chiefs that we've been expecting. I, I hope we see those two centres together. Um, but really, I think the biggest change here is just going to be the mental kind of aptitude of the players. And Kagi, I want to answer you, mate. d Mac has started five of the last six matches at 10. He's playing 10. Yes, they're given, you know, other 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 times they're, they're making some changes there, but he is their 10. And this is a game that they need to take seriously. So I don't see it being one that they want to, you know, stress, you know, go too far away from the game plan for them. Fair enough. Um, cool. So, yeah, we've talked about, yeah, Retallic back. The last, I'm just thinking about any other forward selections here. Atu Moli came back uh, last week. He's, mm. uh, you know, we could huge. see. Yeah, exactly. So we could see him into starting. Um, I reckon he'll need a few weeks to get up to speed, surely, with the amount of time that bloke's been out. Yeah, he did look a little uh, like he's lacking a little bit of fitness in the game, to be honest as well. So, um, maybe, yeah, maybe that's the case off the bench for a bit. Uh, but I think he was playing tight head. He, he's played loose head or tight head throughout his career, but I think he was playing yeah. tight head at the moment. Um, so we could see him. But yeah, um, no, Takiyaho back. Uh, it'll be a pretty formidable uh, pack. But yeah, certainly Sam Kane, probably Jacobson, and, and Peter Gus, I guess, will be the, the back row in there. Yeah. And on the uh, the Hurricane side, Xavier Nemea, we would think straight back into the starting side. Josh Morby was rested last week and sat out on the back last week as well. So I think he'll come straight in for Harry Godfrey. And then there's going to be surely the rotation of the outside backs. I don't know how many weeks you can put the bus out of the side when he's equal with the try scoring record. So yeah. could he do it against the to- table topping Chiefs? I say no, probably not. But I, say no. I hope he does. <laughs> And who 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 if you if you bring back the bus on the right hand side, uh are we are we dropping Rayasi or Kenny Nahole? Who's mate, whose go is it? I think it's time for uh Rayasi to have a rest on the rotating policy. So. Sounds good to me. Love that. Yeah, Love think, to hear it. It's a... I think we said that last week, actually, right? That they uh he was gonna get maybe another run. Nahole, Nahole was gonna get another run because they're seeming to give each of those wingers a break a couple times in a row here. So did has Rayasi had a, a break two weeks ago? If not, it's him this time. I think he did two weeks ago, to be honest. I think he did, yeah. I think so he did, it's Nahalo. Because <laughs> I think we've already said this exact conversation. So Nahalo is going to get a rest unless the, he's definitely usurped um, Julian, which I, I don't I don't think they'll say. Well, he had another cracking game, so he should. <laughs> yeah, true. Sure. All right. Um, now, before we get on to tips, um, do we see, like, is there any, any particular place that either team is going to really attack the other in? I mean, I, I kind of see them as fairly equally matched teams in terms of the set piece. Um, they both like to throw it around. So I, I, I think it's just going to be who's better on the day. I can't really think of... I think you just run at Aiden Morgan. Surely that's the tactic, isn't it? Probably. <laughs> Although it's I mean, like, it's like how many times week. can the Chiefs run at Aiden Morgan and can that be more effective than how many times um, Cam Roygaard can run at the entire team. And if Cam Roygaard exactly. can outplay every <laughs> single player on the field more than they can outplay Ed Morgan, then we're sweet. Uh, Adi Sevilla is going to at least thrice say, fine, I'll do it myself in, <laughs> in this match. He, he always does. Um, and for these sorts of ones, he, he picks it up even more. So, And, and uh, this, this time I've got your answer, Harry. This time Adi will get over the try line and then he'll wait, give the ball to Julian so that he can score the 61st try. You know what I mean? He'll give it to him. Give it to he him. would have it. Well. Yeah, <laughs> it actually happened. All right. Well, I was stalling because I was trying to think of my tip for this one. Um, but look, I'm going to say the Chiefs will win this. Um, they've just been that good, apart from last week, and they're back at home. Uh, Chiefs by seven. Here you go, small line seven and a half. You dirty dog. Sorry, mate. I'll say Chiefs by eight. No, oh, you. <laughs> what are you? Chiefs what are you going to by? I'm only doing this because it's Kagi. Chiefs by six. Yes. Oh, <laughs> how could you? 